Williams Gabzona. This is the morning of the 10th of February 2019. I received a rather interesting video. It's uh, 1 minute and 54 seconds in duration. And uh, I'm going to attach that link along with another link. This link, uh, 1 minute and 54 seconds, is titled Assassination of John F. Kennedy. The speech that killed him. Now, this was published back on November the 4th, 2017. When I got it, it had three quarters of a million views, 742,412. Now, you want to listen to what Kennedy has to say. What's written, and this was published by Word Porn, at that time, he had 832,000 subscribers. This was John F. Kennedy's last speech. Many people, including myself, believe that this was a speech that got him killed. Nevertheless, they failed to kill off the ideology that he left behind. Well, sadly, what can we do with that ideology? Hmm? The other video that I'm going to attach is most interesting. It was put up by Pale of future, paleo future, I apologize. The real story behind that JF quote about destroying the CIA, that's who he was referring to in that first video. What's written is, thanks to WikiLeak, you may have seen a quote from President Kennedy recently about his desire to, quote, splinter the CIA in a thousand pieces and scatter it to the winds. WikiLeaks used the quote as a password to decrypt its latest release about CA spy tools like Facebook, Google, Twitter, YouTube. You mean like those kind of spy tools? 23andMe? Huh? And the quote can be found in news stories around the world, including in some from The Intercept. The only problem, the origin of the quote, is a bit dubious. Famous quotes can be a funny thing in the 20th and 21st century. Sometimes we have a solid first-hand account of something written down in a speech or recorded on film. The problem is you can't believe what's recorded on film anymore. Other times we rely on journalists and authors to accurately quote someone in a newspaper or a book. And still other times we have to rely on the same journalist to relay what someone said from a third party in the case of the JFK quote. It's the last one. The phrase, quote, splinter into a thousand pieces and scatter to the winds actually dates back to at least the early 19th century and decidedly religious origins. You can find versions of the phrase in Methodist sermons from 1819 in letters from clergy of the 1840s and in fiction of the early 20th century. In fact, British author John Buchan used the phrase in his 1916 book, Green Mantle, set during the First World War. Make no mistake, madame, the folly is over. I will tear the scattered garment into a thousand pieces and scatter them on the wind. The people wait today for their revelation, but none will come. You may kill us if you can, but we have at least crushed a lie and done service to our country. So how did we start to attribute the phrase to JFK and the attitudes toward the CIA? The first attribution of this quote of President Kennedy comes from a story in April 25, 1966, edition of the New York Times. Notably, this was almost three years after Kennedy's death. Former President Truman, whose administration established the CIA in 1947, said in 1963 that by then he saw something about the way the CIA has been functioning that is casting a shadow over our historic position, and I feel we need to correct it. And President Kennedy, as the enormity of the Bay of Pigs disaster came home to him, said to one of his high officials of his administration that he wanted to splinter the CIA into a thousand pieces and scatter it to the winds. 
folks, uh, they whacked Kennedy. They, meaning the CIA, closely tied into the industrial military complex. We were warned about the industrial military complex, were we not? Folks, the CIA is a criminal, corrupt, dysfunctional organization. Kennedy got whacked because he was going to shut them down and the Federal Reserve. Go do your own research. Scary, is it not? That that secret society has so much power and control. And it's been around since 1947. Go do your own research. Let me know if you come up with something different. These two links will be attached. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. The problem that we all have is, well, you know what the problem is. There's no one to go to. Is there?